Uh, we're, so we're doing some interviews. Okay. We're trying to get people, we're asking them, like, what makes something morally wrong? What would you, what would you say makes something morally wrong? Oh, gosh. Hi. You girls are welcome to join in. <laughs> so the big question is, what makes something morally right or wrong? Well, how would you answer that? Wait, what was so, the question? Oh, that's right. like There's a lot of reasons. Right. There's a lot of reasons. Like it can be how you're raised, your faith, all types of things. I think yeah. that guides you, it's like your moral subjective. compass uh, and things like that. Your culture, yeah. Your culture. So, did you hear the question? What makes something morally right or wrong? Right. 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 So, how would you define something morally right or wrong? Culture, culture. So, if somebody changed the culture, right, like a Hitler mm-hmm. or something, and mm-hmm. said, okay, now all of a sudden. We can kill, a, you know, a particular people in a society because we make up some reason, right? Get the masses to go along with us. Get the culture to go w- along with us. Is it now okay to kill? Because culture agrees with me. Society, right? No. 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 My morals are still my morals. All right. <laughs> I don't think you should so kill we'll check unless off culture. it is like yeah. a life or death situation, you know what I mean? Like Say it again. I'm sorry. Like you are being targeted and you're defending yourself. Yeah, but morals think. aren't just about killing, though. Like you know, the morals are about like so self defense. Yeah. It's okay to we defend you. Self defense or in defense <laughs> of someone. Else. So now you say faith, right? So if somebody's faith says it's okay to steal or to rob or to marry ten year olds, eight year olds, or, or enslave people. So our faces say it's okay. Yep. Is it therefore okay? It's not for us to judge. Well, we already checked off culture because culture can't define what's morally right or wrong. I think we agreed on that. Mm-hmm. All right. So can does faith itself define what's morally right or wrong? No. Because everybody's going to interpret it differently. Yep. And uh, everyone, yeah. So, so any other... Well, even with this, they're all disagreeing all the time about what's right and what's wrong. Right. Well, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. So, let me get to where, what, what uh, Eli and I are, are about. You see, to be something morally right or wrong has to be objective. So, some faiths are subjective, right? Mm-hmm. They're written by men. Right. right. Yep. You get that faith oh, yes. from men. Um, you may invent your own faith, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Humanism is a faith, and it changes from society to society, right? Mm-hmm. It's Marxism is loves humanism, right? Because they get to name the name what's yeah. the right and wrong. Mm-hmm. But to be objective has to be outside of ourselves, a, 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 a standard forever, right? Mm-hmm. Eli and I believe that only the scriptures gives us objective standard. That it's always wrong to kill. It's always wrong to murder, to steal, to take private property. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And, and that's what Jesus said. When Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, no man comes to the Father but by me, he's making an objective yes. statement that, because he he's created. The commandments that he gave us for mm-hmm. our administration yes. is love each other and love God. Those are the no, I agree with each. Have. I agree with you, but in that objective standard, the definition of love can only be given by God Almighty Himself. Because I'm sorry. Not real quick. Jesus actually in that he was quoting from Talking Deuteronomy. Right. <laughs> so no, no, no. yeah. So to be he was clear. just saying. He said, "Salvation from the law and the prophets." All is that this. was abolished when we entered into the grace administration yeah. there in Pentecost. Jesus actually said, I did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. So he came he to bring. I, I agree with that. But he didn't come to abolish the law. He specifically said, I'm not coming to abolish it, but to fulfill it. And he was saying, These, this is the summation of the law, and this yeah. is what we're to do. So. Yes, but also, if you rightly divide everything that's in the Word, it does lay out that the only two things that we are to do is love God more than anything and love each other. So then, can I... Can I Push on that a little bit, sure. politely. Well, I am, we I are in the middle of yeah, a time crunch. <laughs> yeah, <we've> <laughs> We're like literally in the middle of a time competition. Oh, <laughs> I am so sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We want to 
the chat for a second, but we really are. Hey. Do you have something you can give us? Yeah, yeah right, I, do. I do. Okay. I do. I do. You're, you're going to like it. All right. The only pushback I would say is that if he came to abolish and he did abolish the law, then therefore it's okay now to steal. It's okay to kill. No, it's not because if you're saved, oh, then you would not because, want to do all that. If you are but that's what I'm saying. The law defines what love is. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments, right? And so, because it is love, right? Yeah. It's, it's defined by, and the law of God is the character of God, and I am stopping you. What y'all doing? We're solving a crime. We're Oh, awesome! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> well, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all have a good time. Have a great day. See y'all. Hey, I think we're trying to knock out some interviews. We're wondering if you guys would be interested. Really, really quick. Yeah. yeah. Brain teasers. Be cool. Uh, sure. All right. Cool. All right. What do you think makes something morally wrong? Like, what, why is murder wrong? So we would agree that murder is wrong. Yeah. Right? yeah. What, why? Or who says Breaks the law. Well, what if the law was murdering is a good thing? You're taking away somebody's law. So, human life has value. Yes, it is. Who says? What, why, does, why do we have work? Okay. So, you have no idea what we do have work. Yeah. We're not sure why we. Yeah. That, that, that's correct. Okay. So, basically, I'll just get to the point then of what we're trying to say is okay, we're trying to get people to an objective standard outside of their, themselves. All right. okay. So, we're trying to get people to say murder is wrong because God says so. And the reason we have dignity and worth is because we're created in the image of God. Right? So we can go to that objective standard outside of ourselves and say, look, we have worth, that's why it's wrong to murder. So I agree with that. Right? But if you can say, well, I have worth, but I'm not really sure why. I want to ground that in something outside of ourselves and not just in ourselves. Right? So we can go to God's law as an objective standard of what's right and what's wrong. But the problem is we've all broken that standard. And God says we're supposed to be holy as he is holy. But we can't do that. Right, so Christ came into history. He lived a perfect life for 33 years, and we can't live for 33 seconds. He died where we should have died because of God's broken law that we broke. And he defeated death and rose from the grave and then ascended to the Father. He's now ruling and reigning in history. So that's what we're coming to share. We're trying to get people to ground themselves in something objective and not just your personal feelings about things. So yeah. that's what we're sharing if you have anything. Yeah. Yeah, and the reason that's so important is because if it relies like on law, if the laws change, right? It's subjective. If it relies on culture, culture changes, right? And you get you get leaders that have the control over the media, and they can change the culture, the people's minds through, you know what I mean? Through saying the same thing, you know what I mean? Get people to say, okay, this is okay now, right? To put like Hitler did, you know? And so. And that's why, you know, it's common to us. We're all rebellious by nature, right? We don't want God's law. And yet we did love God's law. We don't want to be killed, right? But we don't mind if we do something, right? We just don't want someone else to do it to us, you know? So it's, it's really important to think about who you are serving, who you are following, who is your God, right? Is it you? Is it man? Is it man by default culture, right? So we're just encouraging people to make a decision to follow Jesus Christ. The scripture has the answer to everything in there. It says, husbands, love your wives. Wives, be respectful and support your husbands. It's don't, you know, don't kill, don't steal, you know. And those are, that's the standard. What makes something morally wrong? We're trying to get... Okay. People think about that. So, you guys have any Wait, thoughts on this? What makes something yeah. morally wrong? What makes it, why is certain things like stealing, murder, why are those things wrong? Because it's a crime against the human. It's a crime against society. Okay. Socially acceptable, I suppose. So, if, if murder is socially acceptable as a good thing, then it would be okay. No. 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 
Yeah. Kind of like Hitler did, you know? Yeah. Made it acceptable. Or Vladimir Putin. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. No, that's not going to be socially acceptable in there. Okay. So it, it can be society. Right. Okay. Okay, so any other thoughts on what where you could ground something being morally right or wrong <laughs> other than society? Well, religiously, I, I suppose, depending on your religious beliefs. Yeah, your spiritual beliefs. Spiritual beliefs. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any particular spiritual or religious beliefs? Yeah. You do? I'm a Christian. You're a Christian? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what would a Christian tell me when I say, okay, what makes something morally wrong? Sin. Well, against something that's against, against the Lord. I tie. Sin. I something that's against the Lord. Okay. Right. So has God spoken in any particular way to define these things as objectively, like, wrong outside of ourselves? Yes. In the Bible. Okay. So what does the Bible say uh, is necessary for us to be right with God? We gotta forgive. We we have to ask for forgiveness, and we have to uh, choose to like. To, if we're giving our lives to cross, it's not something that you ideally are supposed to walk forward and not look back. Yeah, you're still gonna make mistakes, mistakes along the way, but God's grace is there for us to forgive us. Okay. Get repentance. On what basis does God forgive us? There's no merit. Like, what do you mean? What basis? What made it? Uh, what made it available? Christ on the cross. Yeah. Well, good, good. And that's what we're about. We're, we're trying to get even Christians to ground. Everything is grounded in the scriptures, right? Right. We have to rely on the scriptures, not culture, not my feelings, not, you know, society. Right. And so right. we're trying to, we're trying to help people to understand that truth is grounded in Christ and in the scriptures alone. Hey, ladies. Hi. Do you mind if we interrupt? No. Sure. We were doing some interviews and asking people their opinion on what, how do you ground or what makes something morally right or wrong? How would you answer that? How Intuitively. my gut feels. What's that? I'm sorry. How my gut feels. Intuitive. Intuitive. Same answer. Intuitive. Kind of saying it, isn't it? So, so what is somebody's gut feeling, their intuition, right? They said it was okay to kill a particular type of people you know what I mean like not into that well I understand that I don't no. support it no I'm, I I'm just I'm seeing where you're going I know right. so, oh, no, I see where you're going too so it would be hard to ground something true for all time in, in intuition right don't you think I mean right a gut feeling because there are crazy people out there right they have a different gut feeling than you absolutely you? right so I mean our guts are really great <laughs> I'm well, just I, telling you, we yeah. are very good people. No, either, never, either way, continue. continue. Yeah. yeah. I want yeah. To don't like it. Is, is there any other reason or way, like, why is... Well, conditioning. Conditioning. But there again, don't you think that somebody could be conditioned in a, in a way that makes stealing or murder? No. No, I don't think that people you know can what I mean? be like conditioned Hitler to Hitler and maybe Hitler's children. You know, when I say children, the society of, of a Hitler, Hitler type youth. people. Right? So, it's you really know, cool. I mean, you couldn't ground it. All right, but what's the point? Well, our point is... Is it... Okay, never mind. Is that truth, we believe truth has to be objective. In other words, it has to it has to be true for everyone for all of time. That it a be. universal truth. Yes. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we believe as Christians that it's only through the scriptures and the Bible. Therefore, you and might that's, have read the, met the wrong people right now. No, that's cool. That's cool. We love what no, you're no, saying. I want to see. I want to see. What I you're know. Going. I know. Right. I'm, no, that's okay. cool. Well, I'm gonna let her do it. All right. So. So that's why that you believe, everyone, everyone believes that that murder is wrong. They don't want to be killed, right? They don't want their stuff stolen from them. They like the private property. Okay, yes. I don't you agree saying, with that? What is, like, what is your point? Yeah, that, we need the end game. Because we got to go to okay, pick right. something up quickly. Right. So. right. Well, the end game there. is is that, that Jesus Christ is Lord of all. And that he commands men everywhere to repent, to, which only means to change your mind 
and believe in him because he is the truth giver. Can I ask you a question? Yes, ma'am. You please. don't know where we sit with that. So how do you feel about coming up to us and maybe assuming that we don't already believe the way that you do? Or we might not, but... Well, as Christians, we've been called to go into the world and teach them all that Jesus said. Teach them. all Thank that they commanded them. As a prophet, so. Jesus as a... Yeah, I, yeah yes. we get it. So, yeah. I mean, to love God, first of all, but to love our neighbors and to share with them, apart from Christ, we have no hope. So it's only in Christ that we have peace with God. So what so. does Christ mean for you in this daily life? What does Christ mean for me? What? How do you embody Christ? How do I embody Christ? What do you, what do you mean by that? Like, no, I mean you yeah. answer the question. How do you embody it? Well, I think I think Christ was a, a person. Christ was God in the flesh. But how do you embody Christ? Do you mean by what do you mean yeah, by we, embody? You mean like how do I live that out? Yes. All right. So, and that would bring me back to the original question. When we make a decision to follow Christ, right? It means. That I agree with everything that he said. So I treat Did you my... hear what he said? What's but it's been written down. I tried to tell you. Do you did did it did you read the original? We can actually go back to the original. Yeah, we do have can the original. Yes, there's five thousand eight hundred Greek manuscripts, we can go right back to the original. So beyond translations. Yeah. You're going back beyond translation. No, we can go to the no, the because the Bible's been translated many, many times. Right, yeah. but we still have the original, right? We still have the Do Greek you? manuscripts. Yeah. Do so you? You can go online and look at them. But so, what does that look like for you? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Yeah, well, this. that's funny that it stumps you. See ya. All right. Thank you. See y'all. Thanks. Good effort, though. That's okay. Great. That's cool. Thanks Love for your time. Love hearing for you speaking up. Well done. You gotta be. Well done. You gotta be able to answer. Well, you gotta. I'm just asking you to explain it. That's all. So, what makes something morally right or wrong? Morally right or wrong? I would say. Uh, I mean, how does it like affect you know, like people around you? I guess you know, mm-hmm. like shit. That's tough, you know. Like, yeah. damn, you have I don't a opinion know. on that? No. I guess, you know, I mean, obviously, I feel like everybody knows what is, like, deliberately wrong. You know, I feel like people are, like, kind of born with that intuition. But, I, I, I agree with that statement. <laughs> right. To be, like, to do something, like, good, I feel like that's kind of, like, that's that could be, I mean, I feel like bad is, like, something could be, like, bad, you know, and it's, that's kind of, like, a grand, you know. What defines something as being bad? Um. You know what I mean? Like, like what, you if know, it's, if it's like harming somebody else or taking from somebody else, you know? why? Why is that? Why is that bad? And who who defines that harm? What? I mean, okay, take Hitler for example. I mean, it was cool to to kill Jews and Christians yeah, and sure. black I, people. I feel I feel like what like the way we are now. What what is good? You know, back then was probably bad. Now, like you know, back in the day, if we was like in some tribes or some shit, and I was like, if I was like talking shit about your tribe and none of the tribes wanted to fuck with you. Then I just kind of cash your tribe out. That would be good. But now, like, if I'm talking shit about somebody, you know, that's just like, you know, that's not good. What if we convince the masses, and we, we go back to this type of thinking where, you know, it's okay to, to eat your neighbor. It's, it's okay to do these things. Is it then right because society deems yeah, it acceptable? I think so. Yeah, and you know. It like, would be right? So. You yeah, you know. It would but, be right? I yeah. Mean, to everyone else, technically, it would be. Hey, that's a good point because back in the day, you know, people didn't have the awareness to know, like, that... You know, is that wrong or right? You know, maybe they should have been cast out, you know? So, mm-hmm. there's a lot of factors that can play in that. So then murder is not always wrong. Is that what you're saying? No, it's not. If somebody's trying to hurt you or somebody that hurts somebody you love. So, like, we're talking about, like, innocent, murder innocent person. Oh, that's always, yeah, that's wrong. But, okay, okay, but you could, I mean, it could be a million other things. Like, say some dude was just thinking about, like, Somebody who's, like, sitting there plotting to do some evil, like, thing, and you, like, murder him, you're both in, like, is that, would that, well, there would I'm be, sure, like, the yeah, duality yeah. We're shit. We're talking about, like, murdering an innocent person. Yeah, for, that's, yeah, that's, an that's, innocent person's life is, always, always is that. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, okay. I feel like people are born knowing, like, you, you know, I mean, I feel like. Okay, so. Uh, okay, an environment, like, a certain environment, like, if you're born, like, a fucked up environment, maybe you wouldn't think that way, but I feel like. Right, I mean, this shit is complicated, Let me push on bro. what you said a minute ago, then. So if we did convince a mass of society that it's okay to eat your neighbor or to kill your neighbor, well, you just said murder is always wrong. So that would still be wrong then. Right. 
Can you repeat that? Using that. It would still be wrong then, even if the well, mass majority... Well, not if then, if they said it was right, like, already. Everyone else just believes it's right. So then so let, me, not, let me ask you this question. Okay, you're talking about, like, mass psychosis yeah. and shit? Like, so then is there no such thing as truth? Truth yeah. is, is, is gone. Yeah. yeah. Right. So then, then, is that true? That becomes a, you see you know what I mean? It's self-defeating yeah. statement. Yeah, yeah. Right? So it can't be a correct statement if it's self-defeating, right? We believe, and we'll just cut the chase, we believe as Christians, and the reason why you said some of the things you did is that... Yeah, I believe in God. Is that... that it's in the heart of men to know that they don't want to be killed. I think you would agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Or your stuff stolen because we got locks on the door, on the car. You know what I mean? We, you know, something maybe to defend ourselves. We defend someone else. Why? Because we know that men have value, right? We know that uh, stealing's wrong. Taking a piece of stuff is wrong. We do it, but we still know it's wrong, right? And that's what the Bible says. Yeah. That that the law of God, as the Bible says, is written in all men's hearts, and therefore we know not to do something, right? But we do it anyway. And, of course, the Bible says because men are fallen, right, that we've, we've rebelled against God. Jesus Christ came to pay that penalty on the cross for our sins, but he's asking us, and he commands men everywhere as God in the flesh to follow him, Right? To change our minds that no, it's always wrong to kill, it's always wrong to steal. Jesus Christ paid that way, and I need to follow Him and believe in what He said in the Scripture. And so we're out trying to encourage people because you enjoy certain freedoms here at the moment. They're fast disappearing. Oh, yeah, my like yeah. you can't go to work because I said so. Because I don't, you, you know what I mean. I don't want you going out of the house because. It's dangerous, right? Oh, yeah. So that's they, a bunch like, of bullshit, bro. Like. The government is... <laughs> but see, that's humanism. That's another That's another religion. It really so, is, bro. And so now they've yeah. gobbled up your freedoms. We've had freedoms because our fathers have believed in the God of the Bible. Yeah, shit. Sure. Right? I know one thing. I'll yeah. never get a fucking COVID vaccine. Yeah. Never. I will die. Well, I... Shit. You, you can take the vaccine. I, I'm not saying no or yes, even though I wouldn't do it because it's not proven. Science says things have to go five to ten years, five years minimum, yeah. just to know if they're harmful or not. I pretty, that, if the that, government says you should do something, maybe you should probably do the opposite. Yeah, right. And I mean, I love to be an American yeah. and I love America, but yeah, if the go, if if somebody knocks right. on your door and says I'm from the government and I'm here to help, you should run but away. But you know, we gr- <laughs> we ground that in God alone, right? That we are creatures of His and that. He's the one that gives us that that personal freedom, yeah. and that man can't take it away. You know, I feel like I feel like if you alone by yourself in a dark room, no shit, that's God. Well, no, God has spoken. It is, it's it's He's your real? own. It's, it's it's God is your own thoughts when you're by yourself. I feel like. Uh, well, that's not true, and uh, well, but I'm I mean, sorry. I, mean, I shouldn't you, have. I shouldn't yeah, have said say, it that bluntly. Yeah, you Dude, can't. You can't I'm say sorry. all that you just said. You can't say what's true and false. I do believe well, I in can, God, but because it's oh, the you scripture. Can, but you're a human being. Yes, so but can you, God can, has spoken. What, what are you not? saying? What are you saying? I'm saying nobody here really knows like what is true. Like I believe in God, but who am I to say? But He has spoken. What is wrong and what's right? Though? He's He's spoken. <laughs> he's spoken. Through, through the Jews, and then God himself came down in the flesh in and, and Jesus Christ, right, and spoke yeah. it. And he says, it is written, you've heard it said, well, I say unto you, he's assuming the same authority that God in the Bible, Jesus Christ is. Yeah. And he, he wants us to follow him, and I'm urging you today yeah. to do that. No, I definitely, like, I wouldn't say I'm, like, specifically, like, a Christian. I do believe in God, and I feel like if you, if you end somebody's life and you make a positive impact, that's God. And I respect, I, just, I, I really like respect all religions, but I feel like if you go into somebody's life and you can make their life better than when it was before you came in, that's God right there. Well, so that's I'm Jesus said that He is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no yeah. one can. Yeah, so all, other, I said all was, other gods are so called gods. Yeah. There's only no. one God in heaven, and He yeah. commands us to repent, meaning change our mind, and to agree with Him. 
Yeah, well, I, yeah. Now, the little lady believe, was going to say something. What were you going to say? I wasn't going to say anything. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Yeah, I believe what you're saying. Like, I believe, like, all this, like, things that we can comprehend, it, like, it does, it all starts from, like, this one small point at some point in time. But there's also, like, you know, we can see, I mean, this is, like, scientifically proven. And I know you can't always say, like, oh, science, whatever, whatever, but things that we see like colors and stuff what we can see there's like tons of other possibilities that only our eyes and our ears like cannot see you know so there's there's billions of things like going on like right now that we can't comprehend just from our like tiny like brain and shit have you violated god's law before yeah Uh, yeah so on the day yes have you ever stolen we all have we all have Have, have you ever used god's name in vain i try not to uh-huh. Right. Well, what we're saying is there's going to be a penalty one day for that. And what believe, we're saying yeah. is God himself cared so much for you that he sent Christ to die for your sins. Yeah, here, let me, let me give this analogy. Because we hear a lot, you know, Jesus, Jesus came and died for my sins. But, like, what does that actually mean? So, let's say you committed a heinous crime. You go into a courtroom, and there's a judge. He's pronounced you guilty. You, you get capital punishment for what you've done. It's a serious crime, Right. What he does as the judge who's about to pronounce your guilty verdict, he steps down from his seat and he comes and pays your fine so that you can go free. Mm-hmm. You committed the crime. He steps into your place, he pays the fine, and you get to walk. And you can do that in the court system now. Yeah. And someone ju- can pay a, your fine. A judge is the closest thing to God on this earth. Well, he, he you is, guys have been wonderful. I'm sorry, I interrupted. You're good. Yeah, he is the judge. He's promised that he will judge us. And if we're not in Christ, he has promised eternity away from him. Yeah, no, so, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I'm like 90% like agreeing with pretty much like what you're saying. So. Yeah. Would y'all consider um, uh, following him? God? Not now, but... I mean, I already do. Do you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I pray before I eat, like, most of the time, so... And if I do something, like, really bad that I know is bad, I'll pray. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't go and do bad stuff, bro. Like, God, like, <laughs> if I meet somebody... Do you guys I have a Bible? I don't. I don't read the Bible, but I do. I, 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 I happen to bring a couple. Some... Um, but let, let me try and get this to is uh, asking God for forgiveness or not doing bad things. It's not the basis for us having peace with God. Yeah. There you go. He oh, said the only. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. He says the only way that we can have peace with God is through the perfect life of Christ. So yeah. he he submitted to God's will and he obeyed God's law perfectly, where we can't for 33 years and we can't even do it for 33 seconds. Right, so it's trusting in His perfect righteousness, His perfect life, that we can have peace with God. We can't. But God says we have to be holy as He is holy, right? And only yeah. Christ is able to meet that standard. So it's yeah. trusting Him alone yeah, and that I'm, we can have peace with God. I feel like, you know, like human beings, like, operate off, like, two things. Like, one is, like, what you already know. Like, you know, you say, okay, I'm going to wake up, I'm going to brush my teeth, I'm going to eat breakfast. That's, like, a small percent of your mind. And, like, 99% of your mind is, like, things that you don't, consciously do like like how like your hair grows and like how your heart beats and shit or sorry i'm I'm gonna stop guessing but you know your heart beats and stuff like i feel like that's where people don't realize you know i feel like people need to really dig deep like into that like people you know what i'm saying like i can choose to go to the store but like people go like probably like years without even just like slowing down and like i'm gonna take a deep breath and look at myself in the mirror and be like you know, get real with yourself. People don't. People go mirror. years without realizing. Yeah, that mirror is right here. Yeah, it I, shows I agree you with what that. Our yeah. heart should be like. But yeah. What is your name? Nick. Nick. Yeah, nice to meet Matt. you. Matt. Thank you. Is your name? Leah. Leah. It's yeah. super good to meet Thank you. Thank you. Great to talk to you guys, man. Thank yeah. you for. Yeah. for oh, for sure, you know, man. I love that. Us. I love that stuff. All right, man. See you, Nick. See you, Leah.